I S U P K. We teach you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans the real Bible, man. What you learn in a Christian church is all fallacies and lies. Right. You following any man-made religion, it's a lie. Ain't no religion. Hold this up. Ain't no religion in the Bible. Let me get Psalms 55, verse 21. There is no religion in the Bible. There's no Pentecost. There's no seven-day Adventist. There's no Baptist. There's no uh, Catholicism. There's no uh, Methodist. None of that garbage is in the Bible. You know what's in the Bible? The, what's in the Bible is a set of rules for a set of people. What? That's the Bible. The Bible is for so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Those rules are for you, black man. Those rules are for us. The Lord laid it down so that we know how to live and we know how to survive in this captivity. Believe it or not, we are in captivity right now today. You go work your job, you go get some money, you go buy a nice car, guess what? You still a slave. You still a slave. All those brothers that's making millions of dollars in the NBA and the NFL, guess what they are? Slaves. It don't matter what your job is in this empire. As a people, we are slaves. And guess where we slaves at the most? In our mind. And we are slaves in our mind. We don't know how to act. We don't know how to follow the Lord, but you're going to learn today. Read. Psalm chapter 55, verse 1. Verse 21. Verse 21. It's a lot. Yeah. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. This, this, this scripture right here is so heavy in the sense that this, this is what you need to put inside your spirit in terms of America, especially this time of year. Right? Especially this time of year. What time of year is it? It's time to vote. It's time that America is bringing out all the jewels, all the trinkets, all the little things that they dangle in front of you. We like to call it a carrot. America is bringing out care for us as a people. And this is what you're going to hear for the rest of the time until somebody's inaugurated in that office. You're going to hear smooth words. Read it again from the top. Okay. Psalm chapter 55, verse 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. It's talking about your oppressor. Now let me ask you something. As a people, have we not been oppressed here since uh, Kamala Harris has been vice president? We have, right? We've been oppressed here. But now she's coming out, now that she's running for a president, right? Why is she now saying, hey, I got a plan, I got a black, uh, what is it called? The black opportunity agenda. You got that now, where was that? You've been here. What's the problem? Why are you gonna have the black opportunity agenda then? She got a black, she got a uh, same thing for Hispanic people. Now she want to roll out the red carpet for you. She got all this great and wonderful stuff for us as a people. Where else? You've been in office. Where it's been? You've been the vice president. You can't bend Joe's ear. You can't tell, hey, Joe, listen, the black people need something. But instead, now that she's trying to get something out of you, she's going to promise you something. The Bible says her words are smoother than butter. Read. Go, come. Verse 21, continue. But war was in his heart. That's all that's in her heart, man, is war. War against you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It shouldn't be new to you. Colin Mahara has been black, uh, locking up black people. She, been, she sat down in an interview, and what did she say? She said, you know what? I'm not going to tell you I'm going to sit up here and do something specific for black people. Right. That's what she said out of her own mouth. And then she turned around and said, Israel will have my full support. I'm going to do something special for Israel. They don't even, that, that ain't even over here. 
That's a whole nother country. You got niggas dying in the ghetto today, right. and you can't do nothing special for us, That's right. but you can do something special for another nation. That's right. Black man, her words is smoother than butter. Right. Wars in her heart. War is war against you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This whole country is against us. Whole country is against us. If you're not so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, you are against, they're against us. Right. And that's why the Bible says we have to come together as a people. We only got us. It's only us. Contrary to what's being said, you know how easily it is to be gamed up in the media? It's, it's real easy. Come and say, yeah, I'm, listen, I got a black agenda opportunity program. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming for you, black man. You're going to get jobs. You're going to get, what she say, uh, free weed. Like, she's she going to make weed legal for, oh, like, we just so drugged out. Like, we, that, that's something special. Read it again. Psalm chapter 55, verse 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. Go ahead. His words softer than oil. Man, them words be so soft when they on that stage. Like even Donald Trump, even Donald Trump would try to game up black people. He's the same person that said, what do you got to lose? Everything. Everything if we vote for you. Everything if we vote for it. Listen. Voting is not the problem. Believing that your vote is going to change something is the problem. Don't even, don't even, don't even think that for one second if you vote for any of these candidates, it's going to change for black people. You know what you're going to do? Go on over here to the projects when uh, Kamala Harris get in office. See if it changed. It didn't change under Obama. It didn't change under Clinton. That's it didn't change under Biden. It didn't change under Bush. It didn't change under Reagan. Nothing is going to change for you here because no, because why? The words are softer than oil. Go ahead. Go, no, come. Verse 21 continue. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. That's, that's what you call a serpent. These people are serpents, so much so that they'll tell you anything to get what they want. What? And here we are, the fools. We play the fool all the time. Every four years you play the fool. 